Mars is going to go into Gemini on August 20th. And usually Mars stays six weeks in a sign, which is plenty of time to get lots done because having Mars in any area of your chart is like having 20 cups of coffee. <laughs> He's going to stay in Gemini until March 28th of 23, from August 20th to March. That's a long time. Seven months. Why is he staying so long? Little Mars is getting tired. He's starting to run down his batteries. You will start to see this in October, like from the middle of October, and he will go retrograde on, I think it's October 30th, and he will stay retrograde until January 12th. Now, whenever Mars does this, I'm like, Mars, wake up. Wake up, little Mars. The world needs you. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm tired. I don't want to wake up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why do we need Mars? We need Mars because he's the energy planet. When you're making some soup and you put the chicken in the pot and the onions and the carrots and the celery, and you, when you turn on the gas, that's Mars. Oh. Mars is the energy that gets things cooking. Oh, now, when he's healthy, it takes him two days to go one degree. When he's starting to go retrograde and finally does go retrograde, it takes him 12 days to go one degree. Uh, in the middle of the retrograde, he speeds up a little, but it's eight days to go one degree. To say we're going to be walking through glue at the end of the year is putting it mildly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, but this worries me because I think this is the supply chain problem. I even had a problem with supply chain. Little me, uh, you know, I have my annual calendar. And when we sold out in January, I wanted to go back and reprint. And, and my printer said, no. I said, what do you, what do you mean? No, <laughs> why can't I do that? He said, you order very special paper, archival paper, and we can't get it. Wow. So where do they make it? He said, they make it in the United States, but we cannot get it. You did mention that even though you sold out the calendar, that people can still look at it on oh, your yeah. account, right? I feel you need to know what's happening on all the most important days. And I know people say, Oh, when I read Astrology Zone, I'm writing and writing which days. Well, you also have it on the app. This was my thinking. Women love paper calendars. We like to turn the pages. We're looking for a perfect wedding day or anniversary party. You know, we're looking for a perfect day to have a first date or an interview for a job. You know, so we... We like to turn the pages, but men love digital. They, they don't buy paper calendars. Oh, really? I have 40% male readers. Oh, yes, girls, have your boyfriends start reading me. They love it once you get them started. <laughs> you know what I heard on the news this morning? That brides are getting married even in the middle of the week. I think this is great news. They're okay. getting a better deal from the hotel. Um People will come to your wedding on a Friday night, a Thursday night, even a Monday yeah, day. Well, you know, in the city, a lot of things do happen during the week. And most yes. people do prefer to go out during the week. I just don't know how would that function in like maybe some international remote uh, wedding destinations because people. Oh, I see a destination wedding. Yeah. No, that's happening in America. They're trying to keep the cost down. But see, when a bride comes to me and asks for a good date, they're saying, oh, June or July. Well, that means only eight or nine days because mm -hmm. they want to get married on a Saturday. Yeah. Although I got married on a Sunday because my father had an Italian specialty grocery store. And he said, I can't close the store on Saturday. I won't come to your wedding if it's on Not a Saturday. Not even for your wedding. <laughs> I said, don't worry, daddy. I like Sunday. Sunday seems more holy. 
<laughs> we're Catholic, uh, but you know, I know a lot of Jewish people prefer Sunday. And to me, that seems like a, a more holy day. I, yeah. I agree. I think that's a good day to get married. So, um, you know, be open-minded when you're planning your wedding. Now, here's one thing. When Mars is retrograde, that's not a good time to, to get married. Mars rules sex, and when Mars is retrograde, it cools off too oh. soon. Now, what if you're listening to this and you're getting married in November, December, early January? There's a workaround. I have an idea because three of my friends were getting married during Mercury retrograde, which was also terrible. Oh, by the way, on the on the homepage of my website, Astrology Zone. I have Mercury retrograde dates all the way up to 2030. I have Venus retrograde and Mars retrograde. You don't want Venus retrograde either because that's love. That's affection. Um, you know, you, you want that to be strong too. I know it sounds like you're tiptoeing through the tulips, but it's really not that hard. But it's really so good to get, know you have that on your website. That's super Oh yeah, right on the homepage. And I think we put it on the app too. Yeah, but it's free and check it out. It's to the left-hand side. You have to scroll down a little bit and it has, it's called a table of Mercury retrograde. I have a table of eclipses. I have everything there so people can plan. And you, you don't want to get married in November, December, early January, but let's say you've already sent out the invitations, you're getting married in December or something like that. You can have a secret ceremony. You go to city hall with your best friend. Everybody's sworn to secrecy. Of course, you have to get your partner to agree to this. <laughs> you, you get married in the eyes of the state that you're getting married in or the yeah. country. And then you tell nobody about this. You always celebrate the big wedding that you had, you know, at the wrong time, <laughs> but you're already married. So in the eyes of astrology, the birth of your marriage took place at the optimal time. And then if you're doing it city hall and you're sneaking down there with your two friends, I, I have an open calendar. I, I have so many days to choose from, you know, and you do too. You look at, at my dates and you can pick the one that sounds good to you. And I'm very clear. I write every one of those descriptions in English, not in Astro Babble in clear terms i give the aspect for those who are love astrology and know it but then i i write for the that's what i love about you. i can you understand know. what you're trying yeah. to tell me <laughs> it, yeah, it's I, not too complicated to mysterious or like a riddle you know? yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> try to communicate yeah so it's best if you don't get married in november december end of october uh, we also have eclipses at the end of October, beginning of November. We also have them at the end of April and the middle of May. Mm -hmm. uh, the most troublesome one is November 8th. So what it's does that mean, part. eclipses? How does well, that affect people? Well, eclipses are the most dramatic tool the universe uses to make change. Now, we're having the eclipses in Taurus and Scorpio. So they're all making headline news. They're, they're breaking out of the past. They're doing some bold decisions. And, uh, and that's wonderful. And that, the first eclipse, April 30th, very friendly. Mm -hmm. May 16th, kind of friendly. A few little annoying things, but we're used to that. You know, we can get around it. Mm -hmm. uh, October 25th. It's okay, good, but the one on November 8th is not okay. There's a Uranus opposition, the the sun, and uh conjunct the moon. It's a it's a, a full moon eclipse in Taurus, and there's something ends abruptly. Oh, you know, you may say, I hate my job, I'm just gonna have to get out of here, or my boyfriend just never listens to me. He doesn't support me. I got to go. I got to, I can't do this anymore. It's that kind of thing. The center will not hold and it falls through. What's that? That's a typical Scorpio move. 
cutting things off, no? No, they don't because it's a fixed sign. So does Taurus. Uh, and Taurus and Aquarius will feel this. And so will um, Leo. Mm. And all four signs are fixed signs. Mm -hmm. Now, they're, the, how do we know it's a fixed sign? This is very interesting. Astrology listens to Mother Nature. Every season has three months. The first month is the cardinal sign, the leader. Come, come, I'm leading you into spring. And that's Aries and Capricorn leads you into uh, the winter. And uh, well, Aquarius actually leads you into winter. Uh, no, no, Capricorn leads you into winter. Uh, then what's the other one? Um, Aries, and then there's, uh, oh, Cancer. Cancer brings you into summer, mm -hmm. and Capricorn brings you into winter, and then the opposite, oh, and Libra brings you into fall. Okay. It's the beginning of each season. The middle sign is the fixed sign, wow. and that is the quintessential expression of that season. What's more spring than May? When the cherry blossoms are out, the tulips, the, the roses, ah, oh, it's beautiful. And, and uh, Scorpio is when the blanket of, of, of uh, all the leaves have fallen mm -hmm. and are now starting to nourish the earth and the rain starts coming and moisturizes the earth. Mm -hmm. um, summer of August, August is the hottest month. <laughs> And actually, the reason that Leo is associated with entertainment is that by the end of July, all the seeds have been planted and it's time to wait for them to come up in the ground. So what the workers did would dress up and, and put on little plays and, and dances and different things yeah, to entertain yeah, yeah. each other because they were waiting for the harvest, which happens in September. Um, and so um, you have Taurus and, and Leo and Scorpio and Aquarius are the fixed signs, the quintessential, oh gosh, in terms of Aquarius, winter in New York, it's murder. It's so hard in New York because the wind whips around the big buildings making wind tunnels. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a tough month. Don't come here if you're visiting New York. Yeah, I agree. January, Tough, February, oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> um, and then the last signs are all the mutable signs. They're the flexible people, Pisces, Virgo, um, Gemini, and Sagittarius. They're flexible and communicative. They're great in a crisis. You get a mutable sign in a crisis. They say, okay, we set up triage, women, children, tents. You know, they, they're very good in a crisis. Mm. And and they always have a plan B, plan C, plan D. If the first one doesn't work, they're great for that. I would, think, I would think my Gemini friends would just like leave <laughs> and go. No, no, <laughs> no, they're, they're good. And they would run around and tell everybody what's happening. Because usually in a crisis, the biggest problem is not knowing what's going on. Mm -hmm. okay. Because the the TV radio isn't working or something, you know, or there's no electricity, something. So now the Gemini's they're okay. Okay. They're okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's interesting how much of like, um, you know, uh, things that I just assume are wrong. So <laughs> you can correct me. <laughs> no, no. So, so I just think uh, what worries me about Mars retrograde at the end of this year, going back to that, many companies come out with their product or services at the end of the year in anticipation of holiday shopping. Mm -hmm. And they have to get it out in August. And you say, well, why August? That's so early. Well, September Mercury's retrograde, almost the whole month. The same thing with May and September both months are tough. Okay. And October, little Mars is like, I'm tired. I'm like, oh, Mars, I'll make you lunch. No, <laughs> I want to sleep. And he's starting to run down his battery. 
see the planets when they go retrograde they're just like people they when they wake up like when he wakes up in in january january 12th i'm still a little groggy i'll 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 make you breakfast a little mars okay i'll sit with you i'll talk with you we'll gradually get you awake <laughs> he takes a weeks to get up speed he's not they don't just jump to alertness they take a little time so i'd like everybody to get their product or service out on the market june july or august and then um if they can't end of january but better yet february or march because by february and march he's happy he's moving along and we need mars mars gives motivation gives push gives a competitive edge mm. i'll tell you where mars is going to be for everybody's sign for aries it's in the house of short travel so you may have to travel a lot you know not far like new york boston or san francisco la you know not far but but a lot of it, a lot of travel mm -hmm. within a day's trip, okay? Also a lot of writing and communicating. Okay. Um, Taurus, spending quite a bit of money. Now you may be putting a down payment on a house or anytime someone has a lifestyle change, they spend money. They buy a house, they have to put the yeah. down payment. Down. they're going to have a baby they got to pay the doctor you know and they need a million things for that little tiny baby so it could be a good thing and knowing taurus they put money away they are so good about that they plan um gemini is going to be in the in the forefront of everything that happens oh. their news they are making headlines and and luckily they run on a lot of nervous energy but i want to take vitamins if their doctor thinks they should it's a good idea to have an annual exam see if you have if you're anemic you have to fix that by the time you get to the end of august because you're going to be moving at the speed of light now you take the the little cancers cancers are working on a secret project and they're hibernating i have no idea what they're doing they might be writing a book or a thesis. Uh, there's something having to do with writing because Gemini is the scribe of the Zodiac. Did you know in ancient times, the king would choose Gemini to write the laws of the land on the clay tablets? Because if the other signs wrote it, nobody could follow the, the law because they didn't know what it meant. Oh. So Gemini is the scribe. And so... Uh, so cancer, you're working on some kind of secret project or a creative project where you need to be alone. You need to have your space, maybe after the children go to bed, something you're passionate about it and you're working on it. Or if it's at work, you've had to sign special papers that you will not tell anybody about what you're working on. It could be pretty exciting. Nice. And then comes out at the very end of March, April, and first part of May 23, you'll be feeling so proud of what you did. Nice. Um, uh, it's also possible that someone near you will be in the hospital and you'll be visiting a lot, but there's nobody like a cancer to bring cheer and happiness yeah. to a person who's shut in. You know, they say that when you go visit someone and in a hospital or who's home and can't go out, their immunity system goes up. It, it has such a good effect. And with cancer, cancer is the ultimate caretaker, the nurse, the, the person who heals. So that's wonderful. Um, then we have a Leo. Leo is going to be a social butterfly. <laughs> out about making friends, going here and there, going to one party after another. Be careful, Leo. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're worried about another variant coming out. You know, so <laughs> listen to Dr. Fauci <laughs> and see what he says. You know, try to follow the rules, but it'll be fun because you're making a lot of new friends and you will have 
many engagements. You will not be on Zoom. You will be actually seeing people in real life. Good. <laughs> now, Scorpio, uh, no, not Scorpio. What comes after that? Virgo. Uh, Virgo has a really good outlook. Honors, awards, achievement, fame. Mars is lighting up their house of fame. This is the time to now from August 20th to the end of March, March 28th. This is when you're going to look for that new job or get a promotion. Now, remember, though, in November and December, things are going to slow down. And all of a sudden, the people you've been interviewing with, they're not answering your calls. Well, they don't know yet. They have to get approvals from people. And everything, everybody's walking through glue. We're all in the same boat. Mm. So, you know, we do that. Don't be patient. Everything comes through. You're starting to get glimmerings in June that this is coming. By January, I think you have that promotion in your pocket. You know, it's going to be good. Oh, everybody wants to be Virgo. <laughs> uh, well, Libra has pretty good. They're going to be traveling long distance a lot. That's a great. lot. They're going to be in and out of airports. And they're not going like short distance, like from New York to the Hamptons. They're going far. <laughs> they could be going to Europe. I don't know. Asia. I don't know. They're, they're traveling. They're working on publishing, broadcasting. Maybe they're going to college or graduate school. That's very possible. Mm -hmm. um, and if you want to go back to school, Libra, put in your application because the dream school may say, yes, you have enough star power to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Now, Scorpio is working with finances so much, with mortgages, um, loans they might be starting a business or i don't know why they have such a heavy emphasis on the eighth house maybe they've decided to invest and they get uh, a financial advisor to set up a plan mm -hmm. um, that's always a good idea to plan for your retirement someday the earlier you start you can put just small amounts in and and it adds up uh, they might win on Jeopardy and they've got all this money and they have to invest it. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you'll be dealing with money matters. And um, it sounds like you have a big idea. And uh, eighth house is where you have to fund a big idea, like going to graduate school, you know, putting in applications for financial aid and, and things of that sort. Uh -huh. uh, but that's good. That's all good. You have a plan and you're working on it. Sagittarius is partnership oriented. They're working with a partner and they're dancing together without stepping on each other's toes. They're obsessed with their partner and their partner is, is producing. Nice. Now, sometimes they may not agree with their partner, but that always happens. You put two people in a rowboat, they're not always going to agree Go up to upstream, go downstream. I don't know. <laughs> that just shows two people are thinking and are engaged. It's okay. You know, yeah. if they're engaged in the conversation, that's good. You know, um, the opposite is, what do you want for dinner tonight? I don't know. Do you want to go out? Maybe. I don't know. Oh. You know that's hard. You want your part. I would love to have Chinese food tonight. Let's go out. You know what I mean? You want someone who's. You know, and then you think, well, maybe that's a little salty. Could, could we talk about this? <laughs> that's okay. But they'll be, you know, dealing with a partner. It could be in business or in love. Yeah. Uh, they could be planning a big wedding. It's very mm -hmm. possible. Uh, the Capricorns are going to be working very hard. But this is good news for them. This sign likes mm -hmm. to work hard. You know, and uh, so from August straight through March, they are putting the pedal to the metal, getting projects done. They're like the project manager carrying the clipboard. Mm -hmm. And it looks like they have two projects because Gemini is a double-bodied sign, the sign of twins. So they may be managing two big projects at the same time. But who better than a Capricorn to be in charge of that? Um, I, I would trust them to do a very good job. Mm -hmm. And uh, they certainly won't be... Um, you know, bored. <laughs> right, right. right. If, if someone listening is a Capricorn and they've lost their job, 
don't worry, somebody's going to snap you up so quickly and um, they'll be so happy they have you. Um, if you're negotiating a new job, try to get an assistant as part of the package because I see how much is coming to you. Oh, wow. There's a lot of projects. You're going to need an extra pair of hands. <laughs> okay, now the Aquarius. Oh, they got so lucky. It's the house of love. Ah, It's love meeting, you know, if they're single to meet someone new. If they're married, they get more time and attention from their partner. Uh -huh. And they get to go out together and they get to travel because Gemini is also a travel sign. They probably won't go far like the Libras will, but they will get out and have a romantic getaway. Maybe if they have children, they'll ask grandma to take care of the, the mm -hmm. little pigeons from the land of Little Put. <laughs> but they, they're also super creative during this period, super creative. And if, uh, and of course, my number one question that I get from readers is, can I have a baby? So they may be really focused on seeing a fertility expert and, and finding out how they could possibly have the baby or go through an adoption. You know, I Googled what famous people have been adopted. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe how many famous people, like Steve Jobs, of course, we know that. But many people you wouldn't know. I would suggest anybody interested in adoption, do that on Google. And, uh, you know, there's so many children that, that need help, you know, so, so we want to help them. Now, the Pisces, Pisces is definitely focused on family. I don't know what's going on. Either your family member needs you and you're going to help out or you're renovating and fixing up your apartment and you have workmen coming in and out, maybe you're painting every room in the house. You know, I do that a few years too. It's, it always makes everything feel so fresh. Yeah. But whatever it is, you're glued to home and family. And that's nice because Pisces has spent an awful lot of energy on their career and they might feel a need for some balance in their life to, yeah. to give more attention to mom or dad or their sister or their children. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm -hmm. So um, see how that works out. You'll get clues already by the end of August, September. You will get definite clues of what this seven month trend is all about. Wow. So see what happens, you know. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for sharing like all the details. I think we should um, <laughs> like watch this more than once follow <laughs> and of course reference everything to astrology zone and like uh -oh. check monthly weekly daily <laughs> what, what you post